Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. This is part two of the two part series I promised you where I am redoing this wall phone. It is a replica of a vintage wall phone. And if you haven't seen part one, go to it now. I show you in part one how I made the brass look like vintage metal. So now we're gonna get painting and distressing. Two of my favorite things to do. So stay tuned, stay tuned to the end. Also, I have a surprise I wanna share with you. Let's get crafting. So I'm going to be using Valspar in white to paint this phone. I am going to start with the handle as kind of my test run here. It's my test run to see how many coats of paint I'm going to need and how this will look after it's distressed. I did not tape off any of <laughs> the brass or metal now looking parts of this phone because there were just too many small pieces to tape around so I was free handing. You are going to see me accidentally hit some of it as I'm painting but that's easily fixed when I come back in with the paint that I used originally and just touch up some areas. Touching up was a lot easier than taping. <laughs> so I'm going to come back in after this is dried. I put two coats of paint on this and I'm just going to start distressing. And I love chunky distressing. So you, if you have one of these phones and this was an inspiration to redo it, distress it any way you want. I am just a fan of the chunkier the better <laughs> and by chunky I mean just taking as much of the paint off as possible where it's a chunky effect after you're done you're seeing just white and the original wood come through that's my preference so you do it any way you want I have some clear wax from Lowe's and I'm going to take the clear wax and I'm going to put it all over everything that I've painted even the brass from the prior video. Um, this seals it, it protects the paint, it also brings out all of the distressing and makes it pop. So I love adding a coat of clear wax. And that's how the handle looks after I'm done. So this was a success. I am very happy. I only needed two coats since I was going to do my chunky distressing. I knew I'd be taking a lot of the paint off. So now it's time to start painting. I'm using a like a slanted edge paintbrush to go around the smaller areas and then just a regular paintbrush for the rest. Trying to be careful not to hit the original brass pieces so that I wouldn't have that many touch-ups. And yes, those feet you see are my son coming in to ask me a question <laughs> with his crazy socks on. He collects like wacky socks I guess and the kid has like a million pairs of them <laughs> so sorry about his feet um so back to painting I just was trying to be as careful as I could I really only hit just a couple pieces so I was kind of happy with how this turned out so I'm um, right now you're watching me put the first coat of paint then I'm going to come back in with the second I tried to keep this video minimal um, painting wise even though primarily what I'm doing in this video is painting this phone, but I didn't want to bore you guys with all the painting. I just wanted to show you exactly how I did it and that I did two coats, and then you're going to see me come back in and start distressing.
Okay, now the fun begins. I love distressing everything. You know, if you're not into distressed look or distressing everything you own, <laughs> leave it white. But if you choose to leave it white, which is beautiful, don't get me wrong, with the way that um, I painted the copper and made that look like vintage metal, it really was pretty if this was just left white. But I probably would add another coat of paint if you're going to do that, even maybe two coats of paint if you were going to leave this white to get that crisp white look. Um, I only did two because I knew I was going to come back in and try to remove as much paint as possible. And that's what I'm doing here. There's no rhyme or reason with my chunky distressing. <laughs> I am just trying to get into all the cracks, crevices, all the sides and the lines and just start removing paint. Anywhere I can, I'm putting sandpaper to it. That's my style. If that's not yours, you distress this any way you want because there's no messing up. I think no matter how people distress, it turns out gorgeous and it just adds that vintage farmhouse appeal to any item. I'm not going to bore you with all of the distressing because <laughs> there was a lot that I cut out of this video to make this a nice, you know, couple, well, how many minutes? I don't even know how many minutes this video, 12 minute long video. So you weren't watching a lot of painting and me sanding. Um, I am going to show you the different sections. So we're just going to jump from section to section and I'll show you a little bit of how I sanded it. So I'm coming back in with that clear wax that I showed you earlier, and I'm putting wax on the whole phone. Um, all of the parts that I painted, which is basically everything, <laughs> and 
like I said, the wax brings out the highlighting, protects the paint from chipping. You know, um, on like a bigger project like this, when you're putting the wax on and you think you've missed areas, just go over it with your hand. If it sm feels smooth, you know you hit it with the wax. And I just randomly, as I go, I keep checking it with my hand to make sure I didn't miss any areas with the wax. there's a close-up of it it's absolutely beautiful <laughs> i really am happy with the way this turned out i really like it here's the before and as you can see that brass was just so shiny um i love wood don't get me wrong but i do have a lot of it in my house so it's nice to bring some farmhouse uh white distressed look wood <laughs> however you want to call it into the house and that brass i'm just not a big fan of brass so i'm really happy with the way the painting that brass made it look like old vintage metal and i'm just I, have i said this i'm just excited with the way it turned out and there it is now look at the transformation the brass looks like metal it has that chunky distressed farmhouse white appeal to it and it's just unique and different i absolutely love the way this turned out if you guys have one of these phones and this inspired you to redo yours please email me pictures i love pictures my email is in the description box below, so send me those pictures. And if you don't mind me sharing them in an upcoming video, let me know in the email because I really want to start sharing um, pictures that people send me in my videos because it just warms my heart that you guys watched one of my videos and you did it, you know, did one of my tutorials. It just, I can't even tell you how much that makes me smile. And on that note, Tatiana, one of my subscribers, sent me pictures. She did the coffee mill and the vintage scale, and she did an amazing job. I hope I pronounced your name right, sweetie, because it's a beautiful name. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel, ring that bell, and hit that thumbs up. I love you all. Stay safe and healthy. Have a blessed and wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, y'all.